Well, what are we fixing today? Today we're upstairs. Uh, we'll continue the series of fixing and cleaning in the basement next time. But today we have a problem in the kitchen. So I can't really bring the kitchen sink in the basement because it's more work. You know, that would be weird. Weird. Kind of fits, but uh, no, no. We're going to fix the kitchen sink up where the kitchen sink is currently mounted. We're not going to bring it in the basement first. So, let's see what's wrong with the kitchen sink. So, kitchen sink. Yeah, I know there's dishes in it. That's fine. Live with it. This is life. All right. Here's the kitchen sink. Now, this has got a... First problem is this has got a thing on it. And a long time ago, hard water has messed with this. And so these buttons no longer work. So that's first strike against this. The second is the other day I was sitting here getting a glass of something or doing washing something. And when and when the cold water is, you know, when the hot water is, it's fine. It's working fine. But I was using the cold water. No, this isn't turning it off. This is a blockage in the line. I'm pretty sure a chunk of minerals got into the jet for the cold side. Because see, I can I can move it to hot and it comes on. I can turn it off and it stops. And of course over here, right? But you turn it on and cold and there's nothing. So I would have either had to take it off, try to clean all this, find a chunk, not break it, uh, right? So instead, we're going here. Go to Menards. And, you know, I know this one's 11% better because it's 11% off. So, yeah, it always makes it 11% better. But, yeah, I watch Matt's Off-Road. What can I say? <laughs> um, check, uh, check Matt's Off-Road if you want to know what I'm talking about with 11%. Anyway, um, this is the item. It was $220, which I think is ridiculous. But, okay. The other one didn't last that long because of hard water. Now, the hard water is, I'm hoping hard water has been repaired in our area. The, uh, the state has mandated that the city use a different water source. They were using their wells forever, but there's a radium uh, source in the water, and they can't get rid of it. So they ended up buying water from a different municipality. And mixing it in with our water, and now we have way less uh, mineral water. So it is, you know, it's the the water is good enough that uh, I can just run it through my humidifier, my ultrasonic humidifiers, and it doesn't make a mess all over with powder. Anyway, this is what we're going to do. We're going to open the box and we'll see what's in here, and uh, you know. Put it in, take the other one out. So let's let's go do that, all right? You know, the proper thing, and when you're in the kitchen, you always got to use the kitchen tools, right? Well, the proper thing in the kitchen for breaking these things open is a kitchen tool, I think. We use a kitchen tool. Alright, what's next? Oops. Here is a... I don't know. Send this in, we'll send you... Crap for life. Alright. Instructions. I reserve the right to refer to these later. I don't 
know what this stuff is. Okay, recognize this. Here we go. Not gonna use it. Soap bottle. Not gonna use it. This quarter for the soap. Not gonna use it. I wish they sold these things a la carte. All that crap I'm not going to use. Why do I need to buy it? Here's a... Oh, wrench. Wow, a wrench? I still haven't figured this one out. Here's a weight. Pretty sure this weight goes on this hose on the bottom to make sure that this falls properly. No more hoses in there. So let's just get down to this. This. These. This. And this. And I won't throw this out yet, but... I'll just throw it. All right, so here's the pieces. My only question is, all right, so this is a quick latchy thing, right? This looks like this goes in there and then this goes to something. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. Here we go. This hose is skinny here, right? So I think we stretch this hose out. This is the hose that comes down here. And it should come out, should come out down here. Yep. This connects to this. Tighten it later, and then this connects to this, but this all feeds through the hole first. So instead of instead of doing this, you do this later, and that that's easier to put down the hole. All right. So now, mounting hardware. I have. Oh, it mounts through this thing. So that's why you can't do that first. This is a rounded over end nut to keep it from cutting itself. This is a 3D printed thing. That'll go on there. And this goes here and this goes here. Here, 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 here. And then this is the wrench to put that on with. This goes over this tube. This screws onto there, and this is the water. Okay, I got this handled. That's another day, but right now I need some coffee. All right, so that's figured out. Let's look under the sink. Okay, so I added a little light, moved some things around a bit, made it so we can get in here a little better. You can see kind of what's going on. This is a faucet that takes cold water, heats it up for us, so I don't mess with that. This one coming down is one of the ones we're taking off, and this one coming down is one of the ones we're taking off, and then there should be one. So here's the black one. So this I'm gonna take I take this weight off. I have to disconnect this so I can pull that out. And then I gotta take off those other two with the metal braid. Before I can do that I gotta shut off the water. Okay, creepy basement laundry room. 
water comes in, that pipe comes into that filter, passes over, comes into that filter. So those are just sediment filters, uh, taste and odor kind of things. Comes down and into the cold manifold. Cold manifold has a couple of uh, valves and things. So there's, there's this one I just used for cold water out. This hot water one I just used to check for pressure because I didn't have anything else I needed to do with it. This one goes to the sink right over here. This one goes to the sink upstairs. This one is the hot water that goes to the kitchen sink. So we need that one off. And this is the one that goes to the kitchen sink. How do I know? They both come out here, out here, and follow along here, and follow along here. So that's the ones that shut off. And we'll verify that by going upstairs and turning it on. Um, all right, let's go upstairs. All right, here's the sink. Turn the water on. Nothing, 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 nothing. Okay, so that water's off. So now we can first take out the thing that's connected to this. This black hose. And then the other two lines. So I'm thinking. Grass and wrench is good enough. A couple of crescent wrenches. Not sure how much of this stuff you're going to be able to see. But I will set you up maybe on a time lapse. And if it don't turn out, you'll never know I took these shots, because, you know, it might be just invisible to you. All right. Okay, almost out. They make you take this thing off, or this one, in order to get this out. Because when it comes out, they have this copper tube, which I actually pinched proper, improperly. But this thing then threads into here, and then this connects to the hose that goes to the faucet end. But, on the new one, that's all different. The washer fits on there with the ridge up. In the hole like that. And no, and no, and no. We had it sitting like this. Now we have these tools, this washer, 
this washer goes through the over the copper hole and around everything else and then this metal nut holds that on and then this one goes over the end and protects the edge of the pulley hose from this this pulley hose here all right so let's go back to another time lapse and let's get jiggy with it Ooh. So this is the underside. These are the two hoses. These are this is the other hose, and then that's what's sticking through. So I put that washer there, the nut there, and then I'm gonna run the nut up. And that's where it's just a little snug, and then. Kind of adjust the sink on top, the faucet on top, and make sure everything's where it needs to be. Okay, that just feels like snug. There it is. I got it not straight. It stays straight. Just a little mowing. You gotta have advertising, right? Mowing goes there. Once it gets tight, this will straighten out, I hope. Is my washer in the right place? I don't think my washer's in the right place. No. Okay, I gotta loosen it a bit. Oh, that's sitting flatter. So I can see the washer in the front now. It all the way around. So let's try to snug it. Maybe it'll stay, but the washer is in place now and it doesn't want to rock. Pull on it a little bit, it sits nice and straight. So, the way this wrench works, and you it's got these holes in it, so you stick, uh, stick, stick a screwdriver through it in order to do the tightening. All right, let's see what's going on there. I want to tighten it without turning it. That's as tight as I dare tighten it. I think that's as tight as it needs to be. So, next step. This in. This would just... Stuff up here. Just goes over here. So the see the rounded side and the square side. This is rounded. Well, there's a there's, there's a where are we? There's a ridge in here. The ridge has to go down. It's so that this hose doesn't get braided, all braided, going in and out. So that goes. Ah! Let's get you where I can see. Looks here. Let's finger tights over that. That makes a nice soft thing so that that's there. Alright. Now the end of the end 
of this. Because yeah, I got my push buttons on the phone. The other end of this, it snapped into here. I was just trying to push it in with this cover over it. So take the cover off. <laughs> And I bet you it pushes it easier. I think like so. Alright. Okay, that's that one. Ah. This is really great on the back. If you need like if you like a no pain at all in your back. And uh, looking for a little excitement in your life, change this out because then you get this stuff right in your back. Oh my god, where the hell did that go? I almost had to go in the basement for that one. Okay, now my glasses are sideways. The pain isn't any better though. Well, that's good. Going for some pain. Uh, just lay under your sink. Let the water drip on your head. And reach over your head to do some real delicate work. It's great. Great for what makes you better. Give you something to complain about. Okay. One more thing to do. So the other thing is this weight. Let's figure out how this weight works. And there's a snapper here. That is just a thing that they put in there to make you crazy. And then this snaps over that hose. Now the reason that snaps over the hose is, you take a look at the faucet now, this doesn't do anything, right? You got to kind of, not bad, right? That's bad. You don't want that. So this weight, I didn't, I we'll see it better from over here. This weight goes over this hose. You're supposed to put it at a point that it keeps it weighted down. So I assume something like this, the bottom of its travel, with a little weight on it, and you gotta snap it together. And it falls off, so then you try again. Of that, I'll take that right there. We put some weight on it. Let's snap this together. I had to snap that time. So now there's some weight on it. So now it wants to be here. And you can pull it out. And you can, you know, it might miss the sink here, it might make the floor wet, but pull it back and it does its thing. Okay, water off. So I'm going to set you here and I got a job for you guys. So you kind of watch, watch these water lines here, and if you get a bunch of water spraying, you yell, and then I'll turn off the water, but I'm going to go down and I'm going to try to turn on the water, all right? You ready? Start watching. Let's, let's turn on the water. Let's turn on the cold first.
Oh, did you hear it? Doesn't sound like it's running. Is it running up there? You got water running on the floor? Let me know. I don't hear anything. Okay. Here's a hot. It doesn't sound like it's running here. You okay upstairs? I'm not hearing any, any hollering. Nobody's hollering. All right, here we go back upstairs. Okay, I guess it's okay. Let's see what we got up here. That sounded like a drip. What was that noise? All right. Okay, slow, fast. I still got no cold water. This is very not happy. All right, so this button is supposed to be a turbo button. They call it turbo. In other words, when you're just running water, it's going a little slow because it's restricted, and this opens the restriction. Turbo! So, Ox is working fine. The cold still ain't working. Oh, jeez. So the problem is somewhere else. Where else could it be? Yep, believe it or not. I'm going to take this one off. Flush a little water through it. I'm just going to flush some water through. It's going to spray water everywhere. Right out of there, we're going to get water. Hopefully we'll get a lot. Mess? Yes. Is there any crap in there? I hope it's flushed out then, though. So here we go. Now you tell me if you see a chunk of something besides water come out of there. You ready? One, two, three. Little water hammer. Hopefully that... Cleaned out any crap that might have been in there. And there's a flood in the room, I know. That could have been worse. Apparently water comes out of there. Ooh. What do I see? What do I spy with my little eye? Is he junk in there? No. That's as clean as can be. All right. So, now in the water and the electric AC lights, we're going to hook that back up. Let's turn the water back on. This time we should not see anything spraying everywhere. Maybe turn on the cold and see we got water cold water coming out decent I should be able to tell from down there okay well, this time I want to say water on and you tell me if there's any spring now I haven't been very good at it so far so let's try again ready water on I hear water. Ah. That's better. Cold. Transition to hot. Looks the same. 
So there was a chunk of stuff on the end of that line. Awesome. I could have fixed this much easier. Well, all that's left now is to put all my junk back, but boss, it's working. Awesome. Well, that's my video for today. I hear water dripping. Awesome. Probably dripping because it flew all over the wall. <laughs> that's it for today. You know, give me a like if I'm entertaining. Give me a like if I help you. And give me a like if you hate it. Because likes are awesome. Give me, oh, give me two likes if you hate it. That's it. Anyway. Um, that's all we're doing for today. Next time we'll see what happens, but it's probably going to be in the creepy basement again, because that's where most of my work is lately. Um, hope I helped you out in some way. Um, subscribe is always great. I will catch you on the rebound. So, uh, 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 oh yeah, bye.